The fifth annual run for the nation's 5K took place last weekend here in Commerce. Proceeds from this year's race are donated to local missionaries who serve people living in poverty all over the world by helping meet physical, educational, and spiritual needs. The race kicked off on the square in downtown Commerce and ended with music, refreshments, and fellowship. This particular grant from Texas Parks of Wildlife has aided the Parks and Recreation Department before, like creating this lovely city park, which is so popular with the children of commerce. And once upon a time, it was just another empty plot of land, much like the one by A.C. Williams Elementary. It's a quick and easy process for anyone who wants to donate. As long as you're over the age of 17 and weigh at least 110 pounds, just one pint of blood can save up to three lives. Of course, not every single task can be handled by a computer. That's when the expert personal contact of the registrar's office comes into play. If you can believe it, this exact area where I'm standing was completely flooded with water less than 24 hours ago. Thankfully, luck is on the Chi Omega side and brought out the sun today for some gorgeous, perfect beach volleyball weather. While the meeting continues to hound fraternity and sorority life across the nation, one fraternity at Texas A&M University Commerce is out to prove that it is not a stereotype. The Pi Kappa Alpha Fraternity of Texas A&M University Commerce hosted its annual Pig Roast Barbecue event. If the Parks and Recreation Department of the City of Commerce end up securing this grant from Texas Wildlife and Parks, then all of this land right behind A.C. Williams Elementary School will be home to a brand new park by 2016. I'm Kelly Fulton, KETV, Maine Media News. Springtime at A&M Commerce is a high point for the combination of tradition and charity. One annual event has students donating more than just their time and their money. Kappa Delta Chi Sorority teamed up with the Kappa Alpha Order for their annual Spring Blood Drive sponsored by the American Red Cross. Katie Chi member Thalia Sanchez says that by combining their efforts, they do more good. Um, it's something that we've done, this is our second time actually collaborating together. And we're just trying to bring, or helping out the community with the American Red Cross and um, having people donate blood since there's always somebody that's that's needing blood and it's a quick and easy process for anyone who wants to donate as long as you're over the age of 17 and weigh at least 110 pounds just one pint of blood can save up to three lives after signing up at the front desk students are asked to go over a short safety handbook followed by a quick interview to assess if they are healthy enough to donate blood that day after they're cleared the donation can begin Kappa Alpha member Josh Hughes says it's a win-win charitable opportunity for students on a budget. It's a great easy way to donate to the community and, and help out. Uh, there's plenty of times where people go into surgeries or you know, breaking a leg or breaking an arm in college and uh, blood is necessary. And it's an easy way to, without, to help out without having to uh, donate the limited funds that college students have. I'm Kelly Fulton, KETV, Maine Media News. An empty plot of land by A.C. Williams Elementary School might soon be home to a new activities venue for the City of Commerce. But before construction can begin, the City of Commerce must first deed the land to Parks and Recreation. The Director of Parks and Recreation, Ricky Harris, proposed a deal to the Commerce ISD Board of Trustees to ensure the deed to the land. Uh, basically, I approached the school board last week. Uh, the school board would be willing to deed over a portion of land so that we could use it towards our Texas Parks and Wildlife grant. This particular grant from Texas Parks of Wildlife has aided the Parks and Recreation Department before, like creating this lovely city park, which is so popular with the children of commerce. And once upon a time, it was just another empty plot of land, much like the one by A.C. Williams Elementary. You'll see that is where uh, the projected spot for the skate park will go. So as you can tell, there's going to be a disc golf course a uh, walking trail and a skate park. You know, the, uh, the school board didn't have to give us that land and uh, they gave it to us for the betterment of the community and, and uh, I want to thank all of them and everyone else who supported us. If the Parks and Recreation Department of the City of Commerce end up securing this grant from Texas Wildlife and Parks, then all of this land right behind A.C. Williams Elementary School will be home to a brand new park by 2016. I'm Kelly Fulton, KETV, Maine Media News. Summer is quickly approaching here at Texas A&M University Commerce, and one student organization is taking advantage of the weather in the name of philanthropy. 
The ladies of Chi Omega Women's Fraternity held their annual Sand Slam Volleyball Tournament at the Morris Recreation Center last Saturday, drawing in several student participants and raising over $2,000 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Chapter President Cheyenne Patterson says that Chi Omega has been nationally partnered with the Make-A-Wish Foundation for several decades. Um, the Make-A-Wish Foundation raises money for kids that are terminally ill, um, and those kids get to make a, a wish and make a wish then grants them. Um, so we're super excited to get to do this. It's kind of a tradition that um, Chi Omega has done here for a long time. So we're really excited to get to bring it back this year, and we've had a lot of support, so it's been awesome. Sand volleyball calls for sunny weather, and a series of East Texas storms nearly ruined the event. If you can believe it, this exact area where I'm standing was completely flooded with water less than 24 hours ago. Thankfully, luck is on the Chi Omega side and brought out the sun today for some gorgeous, perfect beach volleyball weather. Despite the threat of rain, participants came out anyway. Fellow Greek Dakota Brewer says he would have played out in the rain if he had to. Well, it's been raining all week and the fact that the sun's out, this is all for a good cause. I'm actually very excited to play volleyball today. The fact that anybody gets out here and does work for the community and tries to raise money for another organization is pretty awesome. So. For KETV Main Media News, I'm Kelly Fulton.